Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm not gonna be looking at the camera because I'm driving, so I apologize. Uh, right now, we're on our way uh, to far Texas. It's about three hours from from where I live, from Laredo. I'm coming with my wife, but she's sleeping right now. Uh, I apologize if I haven't been uploading lately. Right uh, one. I've been extremely busy with the store and the rentals and the other reason is because I kind of got discouraged to be honest because uh, I, I wasn't getting a lot of views and uh, uh, I, I, I thought you would, it was just a waste of time but a few of you, a few guys have been commenting on the videos and, and have been encouraging me to continue making the videos so uh, I'm gonna continue and uh, hopefully uh, it starts picking up uh, and uh, it won't be a waste of time uh, one of the subscribers uh, I forgot the, to I forgot the name but he told me that uh, these videos will serve as history for the future for my family and I, I hadn't thought of it that way and, but it's true uh, maybe in the future my kids will We'll see the hustle, we'll see the hard work that me and my wife do. Uh, so, uh, be expecting more videos. Uh, right now, I mean, I didn't plan anything out. I'm just I'm just gonna talk about some, some things I have done in the past few months that I haven't uploaded. Uh, so, some, some are good news, some are bad news. Uh, so one of the, one of the good news is uh, that I sold the property. I think I made a video on it uh, on a property that I was that I rehabbed. I I sold I sold that property. Well, I, actually, I didn't sell it. I traded it in for a ten a ten a templex. Basically, there, there's ten houses. Well, technically, it's five duplexes. Five duplexes in in a in a in a in three lots. Uh, so in total, there's ten units. So I bought that property. I'll go over the details, but I'll just throw in some numbers so you so you can have an idea. I got sixty thousand dollars credits for the for the house that I sold. I sold it to the to the owner of the templex, and he owner financed the templex for. Um, the original, the total amount is six hundred and fifty thousand. So he discounted sixty thousand for the for the for the property that I gave him. So he gave me a note of five hundred and ninety thousand for fifteen years uh, at eight percent interest rates. So uh, I'll go over the details. Uh, I, I bought it I think two months ago. I already raised the rents a hundred dollars per unit. Uh, I, I've, I've rehabbed some, some uh, I rehabbed a, a uh, one of the units uh, in the, on the interior, but uh, I'll make a separate video on the uh, on that uh, on the templates. Another thing is uh, another another change that I made is I sold. I I also made a video on a lot that I own that I bought for six thousand. I think it's called the cheapest property in. That I bought her, so I forgot the title of the, of the video, but I have a video on it. I bought it for six thousand, and I sold it back to the person that uh, to my friends that that passed it on to me. I sold it, I sold it to him for eleven thousand. So I made five thousand dollars on it, and also I made um, like ten months of rent for three fifty. So I made another thirty five hundred. So I made around ten thousand dollars on that on that uh, property. Uh, which is, it, it, it's a pretty good deal because I basically almost doubled my money, my investments. Uh, uh, another thing, uh, I sold another property on, on price, another rental that, that, I, that I had. I sold it back to the person that sold it to me. He gave me about $5,000 more. Uh, so, with that money, I went and pay, and bought a property for cash. I bought a mobile home and a lot for twenty eight thousand. 
So basically, I turned a debt into into a a positive cash flow because I was paying a thousand dollars for for the for the house on price. I was I, I was paying a thousand sixty four, and now that I sold it with the equity, I, I went and bought a, a a a property for cash. So now that property is uh, cash flowing seven hundred and fifty dollars because it's paid. It's 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 already I bought it cash. I have no debt on it, and the only debt is like around fifty dollars for taxes. The, the taxes are really cheap because uh, since it's a mo it's a mobile home, it's an older mobile home. Yeah, I'm basically paying like ten dollars a month for the taxes on the on the on the mobile home and about forty dollars for the for the lot. So it's a very good deal because I I turned a a, a basically it was like a, a leak. I was leaking a thousand dollars. And now I'm gaining $750, uh, a positive cash flow. So uh, I'm glad I did that. I, I going back to the templates. I, I lost the, the $750 rental income from the property that I traded in because I was collecting $750. It was already paid off. But now I'm gaining about about $1,800 a month in equity from the templates and some a few hundred dollars in cash flow. So I'm making upwards of two thousand dollars. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Plus, I uh, right now I'm over. I'm controlling about two million dollars in uh, in uh, in in property. So the business is growing little by little. It's growing. Um, right right now, um, my net worth is around. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm driving, I'm, I'm gonna slow down because I'm entering uh, a little city, uh, a little town and the speed limit is 55 miles. So my net worth I think is close to 900,000. Um, so I'll be I'll be posting uh, whenever I hit the, the 1 million mark. Uh, it's a goal that I have, I mean, it's really nothing special, it's just for basically for my own self that I, I, I want to hit that first million uh, so hopefully maybe by the end of this year I, I should I should be able to hit it uh, as, as far as the so those are some updates on, on the on the rentals and uh, as far as the updates on the on, on my store on my convenience store I bought a coin push machine. I actually bought two. I bought two coin two two coin push machines. Uh, for I got them for, for really cheap from another convenience store here in Laredo. I bought them for a hundred dollars each. And uh, I was gonna put both of them in, in my store, but the, the the space is tight, so I decided to sell one. I sold it for for I think it was three fifteen. So I made two hundred fifty dollars profit, and so the ba I basically got got the other one for free plus one hundred and fifty dollars, uh, or two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, so I, I haven't filled it up with quarters yet. I'm gonna fill it up with quarters, uh, and uh, I want to put a, a few maybe two dollar bills and s some other goodies. So. So people will be more tempted to play. Uh, as far as another update for the store. In half a mile, turn right onto South US 281 Frontage Road. My sister and my brother-in-law, as I mentioned in my previous videos, and they, they also have a convenience store. And when they bought the business, they already had all the meat markets set up. They, have the, they had the equipment and everything the space and everything but they weren't using it so uh they decided like a Stay month ago they decided like a month ago to to hire a a a, a butcher and uh, actually two butchers and and they decided to open up the meat market and they they've been doing really good uh they increased their sales about 50 percent in a quarter mile turn left onto east bennett street from what they were selling so uh they they're encouraging me to because I, I was on the fence to oh, we were on the fence to open it up because of the space uh, so right now seeing that they increased their sales we decided to 
to go for it. Uh, so these past few days we've been making space in the store. Uh, I had a a a container made out of a like iron. Turn left onto East Bennett Street. I had a welder made it make it uh, so I can put the the firewood and and uh, the charcoal outside the store. At the light, turn left onto East Adams Street. And that that increased our space, and we we've been. I'm sorry, guys. I missed the light for being on the phone. In a quarter mile, turn right onto South US 281 Frontage Road. So we've been making space in, in the store, the, uh, the the shelves, the the shelves. I know I noticed that there was there was a lot of space in, in between. At the stop sign, turn right onto South US 281 Frontage Road. I noticed that there was a lot of space in between the shelves, uh, a lot of dead space. Let's say there were sneakers in the shelves, and then there was like a like a uh, two feet of, of space, and then there was another shelf. So we we out of the sh the, the shelves had five the the fixture had five shelves. We cut the space and we we put in uh, eight shelves. So now we have a lot more products Use in the, the same space. To left to merge onto US 281 South. We we uh, we we basically almost doubled the product in, in each shelf by doing that, and we're maximizing the space that we have. Uh, so we still Use have to left. we still have to move a few things around, but hopefully uh, we have enough space right now. So the the reason I'm the reason I'm going to Far Texas is because I saw that on on, on Let Go. Uh, they were selling equipment for the for the meat market. Uh, I already have the. For fifty six miles, continue straight. I, I already have the machine to 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 cut the the meat. I don't know what it's called in English. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna go buy a, a display case for the meat and a slicer and a grinder. So. Right now, that's why we were making the three hour drive because I couldn't find anything uh, near, I couldn't find anything in Laredo. Uh, so, I'm gonna go see the, the condition of the equipment and, and if it's and if it's good, uh, I'm gonna go buy it. And, and hopefully, we should we should have a uh, the meat uh, market within a week or two. I still need to find the I still, I still need to hire people for the. For the meat market to run the meat market, I'm probably I'm, I'm probably gonna have to hire two two additional employees. But uh, uh, we're kind of nervous because one the, the the space is tight and and number two is uh, there's never been a meat market there in my store. There's two within the five mile within a five or six mile range. There's two additional convenience stores, bigger convenience stores that they have. Uh, and and they do have a, a bean market, and they do pretty good. Uh, so, but um, I have faith, and I and I know that uh, our current clients uh, will buy the, the 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 meat from us. So we'll see, we'll see how we do. So I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see where where we're going. Nothing interest, interesting to see. I brought my truck. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna turn it around again, guys. I brought my truck, uh, my Ram. I had to. I had to go to to Harbor Freight to buy to buy the hitch. I've never driven a. I've never driven a trailer. I'm gonna have to go to U-Haul and rent a, maybe a, like an 18 foot trailer. So I'm a little bit nervous. 
I'm, I'm driving the trailer, but uh, it's going to be a first time, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to have to be go a little bit slower on the turns. And uh, hopefully when I get to a store, somebody will help me reverse reverse it because I've heard that it's kind of weird reversing a trailer. So My wife wake, woke up already. <laughs> she, took a, she took a nap. I, I drank some coffee in the morning, so I feel very energized. Uh, as far as the bad news goes, uh, I was told... I, I was feeling I wasn't feeling well for for several weeks and I went to the doctor and, and they told me that I had very high uh, blood sugar and they told me supposedly that I'm like that I'm diabetic uh, so it's not good news uh, I was kind of I mean I wasn't really shocked because I knew that I, I wasn't eating well and I and I'm, I know that I'm overweight uh, but it's still a shocker because I'm, I'm I mean I'm not that old uh, so but I mean like they meant like uh, like they say turn turn the bad the, the bad news into good news uh, I mean it, it's an eye-opener for me so I can start watching what I eat more and so I can start exercising and and, and not not only concentrating my uh, in my wealth but also my health uh, so We've been we've been getting uh, the first when they first told me I was just eating salads for like for two weeks, but then I realized that I, that I, I mean it's hard it's hard to just eat salads. So right now I'm I mean I'm I'm eating a little bit of a variety more, like just like before, but I'm just I'm just staying away from the sodas at least from the I'm drinking a, a diet every now and then, but I'm staying away from the from sugar and I'm not e eating flour tortillas anymore like before. Uh, I'm watching my uh, my pasta intake, uh, the soups. I'm trying to stay away from all that. Uh, I do eat bread every now and then, uh, but uh, I'm at least I'm, I'm more cautious now than before. Before I would just eat everything like if I was uh, <laughs> like a, like if uh, like if I was a stor storaging food. I mean I, I would just eat, eat eat all day long. And uh, right now I'm staying away from the candies and the chocolates and all that. Uh, like the doctor mentioned, um, the cakes and all that. Try to eat them, eat them every now and then when you go to a party. But I mean, not not daily like before. So uh, I've been paying a member a gym membership since January. So and I've I, I I've only gone maybe I, I can probably count the times that I've gone with my hands. So uh, I need to start I need to start taking advantage of that membership that I'm paying and and for my own good and. Uh, the good thing is that uh, this is gonna serve so we can change our diet at, at our house uh, not only for me but for my wife and kids also because I don't want them to go through the same thing that I'm that I'm gonna have to go through so uh, we're cutting we're cutting out the cokes and uh, the candies even for them uh, I mean they're not they're, they're, they weren't diagnosed but uh, if, we, if we keep going that route, I mean, eventually uh, it can happen to them. So we're, 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 we're going to put a stop to that. So there's there's some construction going on the road. So I'm going to turn off the video, guys. Uh, I'll give you an update as soon as we get there to see what if the, if the machines are in good condition, if our trip was worth it. So I'll be back.